what's up guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good so in today's video i'm going to be trying airbrush nails for the first time i created this super cute designer teddy bear set i'm obsessed with the way these came out i also used some new um solid cream gels from to be glam they sent over their pastel set and i really love the colors in this set i created like a tie-dye chrome look underneath so it's kind of like a peekaboo chrome look because of the airbrush so i think they came out super cool we're gonna go ahead and do a little unboxing before the tutorial today i found a really nice affordable portable airbrush machine so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that first um, the one that I got is like a rose color and this is what everything looks like when you open it up. You do get a little manual that shows you how to operate the airbrush machine. I was a little bit nervous about using this at first. Um, I did practice off camera after unboxing this and it took me a few tries to get it. Like they literally make it look so easy but there's like a technique to it. I still have some improvements to do, but I do like the way my set ended up. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the main machine. Like I said, I got a rose color. I'll be showing you guys how everything like operates later on. It's actually um, rechargeable. So you charge it by USB and you can use it without it plugged in. There's also three different size watering cans. There's a 40 milliliter, a 20 milliliter, and then this smaller one, which you would most likely use for nails. It's a five milliliter. The one I have in my Amazon store only comes with the five milliliter and the 20 milliliter. For some reason, I couldn't find this one again. But yeah, this is the one that I'll be using. You can also use this for like cake and like um, makeup and stuff like that, but I just use mine for nails. I also have this really cool 12 piece um, airbrush nail ink set that I found which is also linked in my Amazon store and it comes with like all the colors you would need to start out with I think they're super pretty I decided to buy the inks because I didn't want to mess it up I saw some people trying to mix their gel polishes with alcohol but I heard that you can ruin it that way and I didn't want to mess it up um, not being like so experienced with it so I went ahead and bought these and I think it was really worth it because you get like all the colors you would need to start out with so yeah I also did receive a palette of solid cream gels from to be glam this is their macaroon pastel set it's super pretty love the packaging on this one it has like a little leaf design and there's nine different shades which I will be swatching these are supposed to be better than gel polish because you don't have to self level and all that stuff and they're a lot more pigmented so you use less there's also a brush that comes with it and you can use the handle as a cap all right, so let's go ahead and get into the swatches. The first color I'm swatching is this nice bright white shade. And I did learn after doing the first two swatches to use less. Um, at first I picked up too big of a bead, so it was a little bit streaky. So I ended up removing some of the gel. Um, I find that thinner layers works a lot better with these because they're so thick and creamy. Like I said earlier, they're not like your usual gel polishes. Um, where you have to self level them and stuff. It's more for like just painting them right on So the thinner the layers the better so I'm doing one coat on camera the next one off so the second shade was like a Nude peachy shade and then we have a peach shade after that um, The next one is a nice pastel pink. I actually like this set better than the first one that I reviewed because of the variety of colors um, especially when I go in with the second coat they look a lot more vibrant and these are like the perfect pastels I really love all the colors as you can see I did remove a little bit of the gel on the first two so they're more even now um, so the next shade I'm swatching is a nice yellow pastel shade then we have a really pretty turquoise pastel color which I have not seen before I don't have like a color like that in my collection also this one's unique this one's like a pastel neon green I never thought I would see that before but yeah this is super cute I love this color as well I literally like almost use every color 
in this palette. The next one is a pastel purple. And then the last one is a nice pastel like powder blue shade. I will be curing each layer for um, 60 seconds and applying a second coat off camera and then top coating them. And this is what they all look like. I'm freaking obsessed with these. Make sure you guys check the description box for anything that I'm using in the video today because I do have a discount code with 2B Glam and I do also have the other products linked in my Amazon store. All right, let's jump into the tutorial. I'm going to be doing a press-on nail set. These are the 3XL square press-ons that I have linked in my Amazon store. I'm doing a press-on set because when I practice using the airbrush off camera, like it literally got all over my hands and I don't have any gloves. So it's easier for me to just do a press-on set so I can just, you know, switch out my old nails and pop these on and my hands will be like nice and clean. Um, so yeah, I'm using this gel polish from Ne Jolie. It's a glitter gel polish in the color AB03 on these two nails. These are going to be glitter accent nails. Um, so yeah, I'm just painting two coats of this color on these. Um, these are the nails I'm going to be putting charms on. I wanted like a glitter accent nail um, so that they kind of look like encapsulated. Like you really couldn't even tell that... Um, these nails were press-ons after i was done and i wanted to like add two coats of the polish to add some thickness to the nails these press-ons do come with a little bit of thickness to them but i wanted to make sure that they had some structure to them so that they don't break these are super long by the way i was not expecting them to be that long but it's a vibe i think this is like the longest set of nails I've done so far since I started doing nails but yeah they're super cute I really really like them but anyways now for the other nails I'm gonna be doing kind of like a pastel tie-dye design um, so I'm using all the colors in the second and the third row they don't have any names so yeah I'm just using all those colors and right now I'm kind of just brushing each color onto the nail like randomly um, so I'm going through each color and then cleaning my brush off. The first layer is going to look a little bit rough um, because I don't know when you you have to do thin layers so they look like a little bit rough and kind of like patchy um, but you have to do thin layers if you're doing this design so that they blend well together if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, I'm just randomly brushing them on um, and I'm kind of trying to blend them into each other but make sure you clean your brush off before you dip back into the color again, whatever color you're using so that you don't mix the colors. Um, and like I said, you need a very small amount because these are super thick and pigmented. So after I apply the yellow, I'm actually going to go ahead and cure the nails really quick before I go in with the second layer um, and then add in the rest of the colors um, just so that, you know, I cure them and don't mess them up. Um, the yellow was giving me a little bit of an issue, but I think it's mainly because of the tack that's showing through from the bottom of the press-on. Like I couldn't tell if it was like pigmented or not because either way, like the blue tack shows through, but I will be kind of like blending that turquoise color over it and then everything looks really good. And then when I go in with the second layer, 
um, everything looks more pigmented it doesn't have to be like super perfectly blended by the way like i'm not trying to like ombre it or anything like that or like blend it super good because i'm going to be going over these with chrome and the chrome is going to make everything look blended anyway So I actually did go over the other colors off camera and just fix them up a little bit including the yellow the best that I can and now I'm taking that turquoise shade and I'm just adding it in randomly on the nail and kind of just like blending it in to the rest of the colors just a little bit it doesn't have to be perfect like I said because I'm going to be going over these with chrome so after I apply this turquoise color I'm going to go ahead and cure and then apply a top coat before I go in with the chrome. Okay, so the top coat that I'm going to be using is from To Be Glam. I'm top coating all of the nails um, with the tie-dye design on it because the other two nails I will be adding bling later on, so I'm not going to top coat those yet. Um, but you want to make sure you use a no wipe top coat so that the chrome sticks to it. And you're going to want to cure the nail for 60 seconds before going in with the chrome and make sure you get like the sides and everything so that the chrome applies to the entire nail it won't stick to the parts that you don't apply the top coat so i'm using daily charm magic white for this and a silicone tool i really like silicone tools to burnish in my chromes because you get a nice even application these are also linked in my amazon store i have like a whole set of these silicone tools they really do come in handy especially for like 3d nail art and stuff like that um, so I'm just burnishing that in and after I um, apply the chrome I'm going to dust the nails off and go over them with a base coat and the reason I'm applying a base coat is because I'm going to be doing the airbrush design next and I want to seal in that chrome but the base coat also leaves a tacky layer on the nails so that when you um, do the airbrush and everything it sticks better to the nail.
All right, so I went ahead and set up my airbrush machine off camera and this is what it looks like. It's super cute, love the color. Um, so basically you would charge it in the back. There's like a little plug there and you can charge it. It doesn't really take that long to fully charge. Um, and then the little button um, in the front is what you use to turn the oxygen on and off. So you just press that little button and you'll hear it come on. And then the back, there's a little knob to adjust the pressure from the oxygen. And then a little button that you use, you pull it back towards you to spray it. And this is the little um, can that you apply the paint in. So initially, I've already done this, but I'm doing it on camera. You're gonna wanna run some isopropyl alcohol through it to make sure you get like any dust or anything out of it. It would just make sure it's like nice and clean and sterilized. So that's what I'm doing, just spraying my little paper towel here, making a huge mess, but it was super fun. Like ever since I started doing this, I can't wait to do like more airbrush nails. It's so freaking fun. Like I'm gonna be doing crazy amounts of airbrush nails. I hope you guys know that. So yeah, I'm gonna be using the white from that um, nail ink set. So I'm shaking it up really good to get the bubbles out. And another tip, you're gonna to wanna to pour it in slowly so that you don't get bubbles. Um, so I'm just pouring a few drops, not too much. You really don't need a whole lot. And then what I'm gonna do is just take like a little nail art brush that I really don't care about and just mix it up really quick, make sure everything's nice and smooth and mix it. It's okay, there's a little bit of alcohol left in there. It actually helps thin it out a little bit. They are a little bit thick. Um, and then you just go ahead and um, screw the top back on. And I like to test it on my paper towel before I like actually do it. But these are the stencils that I'm gonna be using. I got these on Amazon, but I can't find them again. I'm gonna try to look if I can find them. They will also be in my Amazon store. But yeah, these are the stencils. I have some Louis Vuitton and Chanel ones and teddy bear ones, which are so freaking cute. So you're gonna wanna stick the stencils on the nail first. Um, and another tip, you don't wanna place them down like too much because then they'll be really hard to get up and you'll end up like digging your tweezers into the nail and messing it up. I know this because I practice. These little heart ones were a little tricky though because like they're two separate pieces even though they peeled off all at once. It's actually two separate pieces and I messed that one up so I actually had to go back and fix it. Um, but yeah anyways so I'm trying to flatten these as much as I can. Like I said I have base coat on the nail so they're kind of like coming up but the base coat helps so it's kind of like you know good and bad because it's kind of hard to keep the stencil down but you want to press it down really quick but like i said i um test it out on my paper towel first press the stencils down the best i can and hold it pretty far away and kind of just spray over it really quick and one thing i could have done was use a little bit less white um and like maybe like turn the knob so it didn't come out so heavy um but maybe next time I'll get a little bit better at it. But I think it still came out cute. And I think you can actually see it a lot better because I did that um, since the background is kind of like pastel and chrome. So I think it actually kind of helped because I think if I would have did a light layer, you wouldn't really be able to see it. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue to do the same thing on the next three nails.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and peel the stencils off. I like to wait until the nails dry to do that to avoid messing it up. If you peel them off too soon, um, you're going to smear the paint. So just keep that in mind. But I think they came out really good. As you could see, that little heart got kind of messed up. The Louis Vuitton um, logo in the middle didn't really um, come out good. So I'm just going to like take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and remove like whatever is there. And then I'm gonna actually fix that later on. But the rest of the nails came out good. It's just the um, two little heart ones with the logos on the inside of it. Um, I had to get a little bit better at using them, but I figured out what my issue was. I actually didn't press them down enough. Um, like I said, the base coat is a good and a bad thing. Um, so yeah, you just got to make sure they're really like flat on the nail. Um, maybe not the corners because you need to be able to like pick them up. But yeah, it's easier when they're like all the way down because then when you spray over it, it transfers the logo onto the nail. So what I'm going to do is just um replace this little heart back on the nail um, and just spray over it and the symbol actually um came through thank god i was nervous that i was going to like mess up the other two but i took the chance and thank god it came out good um, because i would have been really upset so yeah now i'm just gonna go ahead and add some bling to these nails and then top coat the nails and cure them and then we're done i use mccart nail glue to put them on after I took my last set off and I love these nails you guys let me know what you think in the comments would you wear these type of nails I think they're so freaking cute I love them um so yeah definitely leave me a like or a comment and if you're new don't forget to subscribe before you leave for more tutorials and reviews every week and don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok also hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Love you guys.